What's going on, great people? Happy day. So glad you are back with another episode of Snap Political. Let's dive right into this video. You guys know I am very, very big on youth, youth development, pro-social development for youth, and pro-social development for the whole family system. So check out some of the content I already have on this channel about youth, what's been going on with crime in our education system, and in our families and community. I wanna talk about the situation with T.I. and his son. At first, I was not going to mention it, but I said, you know what, let's mention it, let's mention it. And I wanna ask you parents a question. How do you discipline your children? Because it's relative, the Word of God talks about you should be disciplining your kids. Whether it's a conversation, whether you change your voice tone to let them know you're a serious business, whether you give them consequences for negative behaviors by retracting certain things, activities, um, making them do certain things to make them understand the value of authority following your instructions. So I, I mean, I can just talk and talk and talk about that, but I wanna know what you do. And how are you disciplined as a kid? What did your parents do? Because kids are kids, I understand that wholeheartedly, yet they are not the ruler of themselves. That's why they have parents who are supposed to be wiser, who are supposed to give loving care, take care of them, and also help guide them in the positive direction that's going to help benefit them so they can be productive citizens in society. And that does not mean allowing your kids to run all over you. I don't wanna digress and go too far, but you already know how I feel about that. Ain't now, another, now, another, now, another, not now, <laughs> day, okay? And I'm talking about the kid that I don't have yet. And people can say all day, what you gonna do until you get yours? And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, even though mine ain't here. And just certain things, I'm not, I'm not gonna stand off of, I'm gonna stand down on that. Let's get into this video. I wanna know what y'all think about that. Yes, y'all, y'all know I like having fun over here. I keep it queen, but I also like to add some humor. Gotta add some humor. T.I. King, full fight. I gotta shout this channel out too before um, I, I move on. I saw this, I think it was called Quality Laughs for, uh, for the video. Check out the channel. Let's go, let's go. But you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me up y'all it's kp with quality laughs and man we got a scuffle on our hands between ti and his son king all of this then popped off after king then sat up there and said he ain't have a silver spoon in his mouth he grew up in a non-gated community well mr tip harris well let's just say king's parents had a totally different thing to say they was asking him had he ever woke up with roaches in his ear all this and of course we know that the answer to that question is no but of course, you know King has something totally different to say. So I ain't even gonna waste no more of y'all time. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I think y'all gonna get a good laugh out of this one. Gotta give credit and shout out to Live Bites for this video. Have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the go. All right, then. Go, 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 go in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about. I got in the neighborhood and hit me that roach up with a roach in your ear. Y'all wanna go to the band door and my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the band? Do y'all want to go to the band? To make him look better, he said he no not true. Silver spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. I have a silver spoon. Look, used to have to come to my grandma house because I'm getting in the fight. Absolutely like a ridiculous. Every day, you used to hold your breath. 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 No, you're over there because you're disrespectful. You have been, and you're the you were the kid out of all the kids. You were the one that couldn't handle himself in the household, following the rules, the mouth. So that's why you're there. And come on, people, come on, come on. These are are the kids that really burn me up. Really. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the reason why he wanna be over there. Y'all ready? Yes. Cause Tiny. he sucking pacifier over there. See, he was 12 years old. He was sucking pacifier. See, he was 12 years old. He didn't do that in the house. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a pasty. But they ain't gonna tell you everything. Like they're they, yeah, they trying yeah, to hide it. Ain't nobody hiding it. Hide it. He capping. He capping. Hey. He know I stand on business. He, he know that. Ain't no nigga ever pulled my car ever in life. I 
stand on business. You drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You drop me in your hood, I stand on business. So clearly we already know, guys, the lifestyle that he has is because of his parents. He would not even be where he is right now today and have some of the opportunities that he has if it wasn't for his parents. Let's keep it real. And that's what gets me. It's like, where is the mindset that you think you have done this? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't feel like you stand on Benny. Yeah. Stand, I I've on been business. stood on Benny. I've been stood on Benny. You want to hide it for the world? I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Uh, amen. I, I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't. You ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. Like, what? You was behind the mansion. You ride. No. I ain't got too much to drink. I done drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. Now, get mad because we say the south ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other. Like just be a sick. Just be a sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping. 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 you no, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing, you embarrassing yourself. Exactly. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Exactly. Get off me, nigga. Get off me, nigga. Get off me, nigga. Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. Little Yo, boy, dog, I barely can believe this, man. It remind me of that little ATL boy. scene when Ti got on his little bitty brother, man. That's how Ti just did King y'all, but man, boy. this shit is crazy. What y'all think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Man, okay, that's it, guys. Shout out to Quality Laughs and Live Bites for this video. <clears throat> I mean, little boy, if you don't sit yourself down somewhere, child, please. I mean, give me a break. Who are you to even have some business? You have, you, you have business because your parents about business. Your name is their name, so that's why you got a name. That's why people actually care about some of the things that you're doing because of who your parents are. And I'm on the type of discipline that I have no problem getting in my kid's face, especially if you're being disrespectful. Now, being, uh, being black, I know how many of us black parents raise our kids and discipline, they have no problem getting physical. However you run your house, discipline and abuse is not the same. So good for you, T.I. I don't have a problem with it. Good for you. Because you are always dad that is always son. And it's a, it's a whole other respect level there. You got the son had the privileged life because of the dad and the mom. You chose because of your behavior and how you do things. They allowed you to go and stay with the grandma. But yes, you grew up in a gated community. You grew up with the plush life. So many kids don't have that opportunity to grow up in. So come on, it's okay. It's all right. But I'm definitely for discipline and letting your kids know, no, 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 no. You don't run anything. And if you don't back back and give me 50 feet and, and, just, and zip your lips, then we're going to have to set this thing up and take it to another level. I truly don't have a problem with that. I'm curious to know, great people, you know, what type of disagreements have you had with your kids? And have you had to, you know, get a little physical? Have you had to whoop your child? Do you put them on punishment? I mentioned that question. Do you take things away? What do you do or what have you had to do? And every kid does not need a certain level of discipline. I'm very aware of that. Some There are some kids who, whose parents will never have to raise their voice never had to raise their voice. They may not have ever had to sharpen their tone. And on the other side, there are parents who've had. There are parents that have had to do way more than just a simple conversation or removing items or stopping extracurricular activities and doing things. Let me know what you think. What have you had to do to let your kid know that you are the grown person in that house and everything belongs to you in the house? If they have a job, great. You're the one that takes them to the job unless you allow them to get a car. <laughs> I mean, come on, paying the car insurance. So let's, let's, let's keep it king. Give me some feedback in the comment section, guys. Let me know. And then how are you raised? How, was, how did your parents discipline you? Many of you have already told me that your parents didn't play the radio like mine. 
like mine. All right, great people. I love you. I appreciate your support. Let me know what a slogan, what you think for this channel is that represents music, facts, truth. I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Yeah.